Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to recreate the Figma app design that we have made in a previous video in Flutter in VS Code. So just as a quick reminder, this is the basic application layout with a header and a footer menu and the content area that we will now in this video recreate in VS Code in Flutter. So here we are in Flutter in VS Code. Um, let's start with a quick recap. On the right, I have Figma with the screen design that we have uh, built and that we are now about to recreate in Flutter. Uh, on the left, I have VS Code with a demo uh, project from Flutter and I have compiled it and it's running here in a simulated iPhone 13. So I can uh, quickly uh, do a hot rerun and, and see what has changed. So let's get rid of all the uh, basic stuff in the demo and uh, start from scratch. So we start with a my app uh, from type uh, or, or extending the stateless widget and we get rid of everything else except what we definitely need. So we have a stateless widget and it needs to return a material app. Whoop. This is what's absolutely required to, to compile. And that's as basic as it gets. So it compiles without error and it just gives us a black screen. And now we take it from here and we add to the material app under home a scaffold. And again, as basic as it gets. Oop, this is a comma. and it's white, that's how an empty scaffold looks like in Flutter. So scaffold is the most basic uh, structure of a screen and basically it gives you the, the opportunities to add a title bar at the top, which we need, a navigation, uh, like a menu at the bottom and use the content in the center. So we do just that and we start with the app bar and we add our own app bar, which I will create outside of this. So that's the most basic app bar we can get away with. And here it is, blue basic color no text. So let's add our workbench title. And this title needs to be from type widget. So we, we add a text here, text widget, and give it the string workbench. Here we have it. Now we need to change the color. background color we want orange and the foreground color we want black all right now in our project in figma we did not use exactly this orange but a slightly different one and that was FE9A03. So let's change that here.
one too many. And the color has slightly changed, so technically it's the same as in Figma now. And that's everything we need for the title bar. So let's continue with the navigation bar at the bottom. So the scaffold has the app bar, which is done. Okay, now let's add the bottom navigation bar. Again, from we declare it a bit outside. My bottom navigation bar. So I add that down here. So this one needs a couple of items in an array. And the items need to be of the type bottom navigation bar item. So let's go ahead and create one. It needs to have an icon. So let's give it an, an icon and we use material app icons. And we start with a notification. active outlined all right and the other thing an item needs to have is a label so we give it a label and that's just because it has to be so we give it an empty string here and let's create another one And the second one would be the shopping cart. Shopping cart outlined. And that's this icon. And we also need a label, empty text. Good. So that's how this looks like now. It looks a bit ugly, so let's give it a bit better structure. We have the icon, we have the label, and that's one of them. And the second one, also icon. And a label. And that's this one. This needs to close down. All right, that is bottom navigation bar with items. Let's see how that looks like. So we have two icons now. They don't look like we want them to look like. So let's continue with the bottom navigation bar. Before the items, we can add a couple more parameters here. And the first one would be the, the color. Uh, let's start with the background color, which we want to be orange for now okay and the foreground color we see them here blue and gray um, da, 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 da. so let's change that and give it a foreground which doesn't exist here we have instead of a foreground color, we have selected color and unselected because as you see, one is selected, one is unselected. So let's give them the same color. Selected item color is colors.black and unselected item color is also black. So how does that 
impact this. Now they're both black. Okay. So next step is we only have two, but we need four. So let's add two more. Bottom navigation bar items. And we add the icon. Next one is the, the credit card. Credit card outlined. And also here we need a label. Okay. So now we have three and that's still not enough. So we add one more. And the last one was an account circle outlined and also here we give it, give it an empty label all right okay now we have four items but a couple other things are now messed up so the background color is gone and we see the first icon to be up here and the reason it is lifted up is actually that the label is shown i can quickly demonstrate that by adding an x here and a y here And we see the X is shown, but the Y under the shopping cart is not shown. So this is, um, there are a lot of implied um, parameters that are jumping around and need to be configured explicitly. So in this case, we want neither the X nor the Y shown. So what we do here is we overwrite the uh, show selected labels with fonts and show unselected labels also with fonts and now this is gone but the background color is also gone so this one does not work or only works sometimes so that's not good enough so what we need to do is we need to wrap the whole bottom navigation bar here into a theme And it will be the child of a theme. And this theme needs a child, but also data. And under data, we can add a copy of the context. So we take the theme of the context and make a copy of that one. Copy with and now in a copy with we can make a couple of uh, adjustments. And here we set the canvas color to orange. And here we have it. Now instead of orange again, I change that to the color that we have used here.
and that's it already now we have the figma project here let me zoom in here and next to it we have our flutter project which basically looks the same same icons at the bottom workbench and that's it and from here we can uh, add in the body section of the uh, scaffold the content of our page so follow for more